thank you to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to Xavier Zamora, Victor Velimir Brockovich, Troy Smothers, Safe Moon Oz, and Morad Shaker for being higher level patrons. You can join that for as little as $1 a month. There's a link down in the description. And also thank you to my YouTube members. You can click the join button down below if you'd like to join that. Please keep in mind, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you guys to go do your own research. And last little side note I want to go ahead and point out is that I actually let my patrons know in advance about my play because I am invested in Polar myself. And if you guys want to know about other plays that I'm doing ahead of time, then feel free to go and show support for that. Again, it's just it's as little as a dollar a month. So let's go and dive into the news. This is about Polar Nodes over on Twitter. They are at Polar underscore Nodes. Their website is PolarNodes.Finance. I will provide a link in the description so you can go check out their website for yourself. If you want to see me on Twitter, I'm at CryptoAtlasYT. Polar Nodes, Decentralized Autonomous Node Organization. Dano, right? So they say right here, Polar Nodes is the first Dano. Polar Nodes will change DeFi vision. Our manifesto explaining how Polar Nodes will change decentralized finance world is out now. They provide a link over to that. And it just says right here, cross the chains in high <clears throat> and enjoy high yield DeFi protocols with the power of AVAX. This is over on Avalanche. So if you want to be able to go buy this, you do need to have the token Avalanche and have the Avalanche network added. You can also use MetaMask. It's a very common functionality uh, feature to be brought in with both these. And they also provide the website Trader Joe XYZ. Now I've done several crypto trades through this. I know the name sounds very fishy. I was skeptical about it at first as well. I asked around for some other people that are experienced in the crypto space, and they confirmed with me that this is a very common website. So Trader Joe XYZ, but they have that in their description there. And their Twitter account says they joined October 2021, as I noted. Uh, or actually, this is my second take. I don't think I noted this. So over on the charts here, you guys can see that it launched back on January 11th. So it's been a little less than three months, a little bit more than two months. It's still quite new. A little bit of price action going up and down. It's trying to work the best that it can, but it looks like it has a potential opportunity for another breakout. We'll have to wait and see on this. This is a node-based project. And so over on their website, polarnodes.finance, how do you make a node? Let's go ahead and start off with that. You need to have 55 of their tokens. It's a very unique number. We're not seeing something rounded off like 10. Typically, when you look at node projects, you need to have 10 of those tokens to make one node. Some instances, uh, they're working on trying to make like one just to start your first node to get involved in the ecosystem. Other projects, you might see like you need a thousand for these things. But for Polar, they decided you need to have 55. So 55 times the current price at $4 here, you're looking at a little bit over $200 if you're trying to make a single node. And uh, it has actually risen quite a bit here over the last several days. But as I pointed out, I did tell people in my Patreon group about some of these plays I've been doing and some of which I haven't even talked about on my YouTube channel still that they already are aware of. And... So you need to have 55 of the tokens. It's on Avalanche on their website. They say a fully decentralized, fully decentralized node protocol on Avalanche. DeFi for the masses community. All changes, spending of funds, investment of funds must be validated by the community. Decentralized investors buy nodes and receive lifetime revenues. With nodes, investors can choose all protocol evolutions. And then it says trust Polar Dano wants to become the first node protocol totally decentralized without any corruptible control entity. The only control is called blockchain. The rewards are decided by the community. They're the fruit of the passive income of the treasury staking on protocols, validator nodes. So this gives you 0.99 polar per day for one node. These are yield generating protocols. The income from treasury staking is fully distributed among the node holders through regular buybacks. Treasury is staked on multiple protocols and we have our own avalanche validator node. And then to get started, simply you buy Polar, which they give you the direct link that takes you over to the Trader Joe XYZ. And then you need to have Avalanche in order to buy the Polar. You need 55 Polar to make the node. And then it says that you can have up to 100 nodes per wallet. The rewards pay out every four hours and that it's really that simple. They have their Twitter. They have a Discord group as well. And let's go ahead and pull up their community center website. So on their website, 
here, what I did is I clicked on the docs that pulls this up. And as far as their team goes, there's a couple key points I want to point out to you. So under team members, the drop down menu, they have a couple of names that are there. Same thing with council and with the community team. But the big thing that we want to touch on here and make clear is about are they KYC? <clears throat> so the team on their website, they said the team is not KYC with a third party like Assure DeFi or RugDoc, nor do they have the intention to do it in the short term. This could change later. <clears throat> But they revealed their identity to Yante, the influencer who, who holds one of the keys for the multi-sig wallet. Yante is fully doxxed. You can check who he is accessing his social media accounts. So there's a little bit of reassurance there. I know a lot of people don't want to get involved with projects unless the team is doxxed, if they're KYC'd. Uh, some instances, people are like, well, they got to have a registered LLC company. Whatever it is for you guys, at the end of the day, go do your own research, right? If you want to invest into these plays, that's on you. I'm just sharing the information. I'm letting you know that I personally, I have invested into Polar. I have four nodes now. I, I either have four or five. I think I have four for this one and I have five for one of the other ones, which I'll be doing a video on probably tomorrow for that project. <clears throat> So this goes on to say, does the team hold any tokens? Yes, the team holds 80,000. That's 8% of the polar of the initial supply. This will be used to pay costs with marketing and development. And then are the team's tokens locked? At the request of the community and as the first example of the decentralized system, the team has locked their tokens for six months. So that'll be going up until August 1st of this year. And then they provide links to the three different lockers. And uh, it's through dx.app. Is Polar Dano related to Ring Finance? And they said, absolutely not. Polar Nodes was created as a fork of Thor. The team originally intended to use the Thor model, D-A-A-S plus N-A-A-S. But the team has already rewritten the Node Reward Manager contract. So we're not a copy of Thor. And then let's go ahead and focus on security questions. Is the liquidity pool time locked? No, the liquidity pool is not time locked, but it is secured by a four fifths multi sig wallet. The team is planning a version two of the token contract to be released. If the liquidity pool is time locked, they won't be able to migrate the liquidity when the time comes. Who holds the keys for the multi sig wallet? Currently, there are five keys for the multi sig wallet and it needs four confirmations. There are two team members, two community elected members, and one docs influencer. Discord tags are below. So they provide those names there. Please note the community will vote to decide the conditions of the multi sig wallet, the number of signatures required, and who will have access at a date in the near future. And then they said, there's an address who owns 74% of the tokens and it's not a contract. Who is it? This address is what we call distrib use pool. It's the address that distributes the rewards and retrieves the polar when you create a node. They then provide the wallet for you. So I recently talked about Project X and very similarly, in fact, it might even be 74% as well. I know it's close. Their main wallet, same thing. It is the one that is used for the rewards distribution. It is not actually a smart contract. And I already explained what it was that they had for their reasoning. And then I just wanted to showcase to you guys, this is a separate project and they have a similar kind of circumstance. And I also own Project X tokens, another node-based project. So those are some of the key elements for both the team and the security. How are we doing on time here? I'll go ahead and probably pull up uh, one or two elements on this. So. Are there any taxes? There is a 10% tax when you claim your rewards for Polar. And another question is, can you compound your nodes rather than claiming? Currently, claiming rewards and creating nodes are two separate transactions. You must claim your rewards, then create additional nodes. Compounding nodes is a feature that will be implemented in the future. Over on their Twitter account for Polar, just scrolling down here, one of the things that they highlighted is Polar Family. This is the moment we have all been waiting for. The new contract update will go live on Sunday at 4 p.m. UTC. These are node tiers, upgrading your nodes, multi-node creation, boosted rewards, five days. All aboard the time is ours, Polar Family AVAX Polar. So 
Hopefully that's a nice little comprehensive introduction there for you guys. Again, I will provide a link to their official website in the description so you can go check it out for yourselves. I love these node projects. If you're new to my channel, I am mainly covering uh, topics and news that's going on with SafeMoon, but I do cover other cryptocurrencies and as more of these node projects come up, I'm not only fascinated in investing in them myself, but I wanna be able to sure I want to be sure to be able to cover these topics for you guys. So if you like the idea of nodes and you want to know about more plays, without a doubt, I would love to cover more of these on the channel. So feel free to subscribe. And also, I do have referral links in the description. If you want to get free crypto, free stock, feel free to check those out. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up like button. It definitely helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Click the bell icon so you know whenever we go live. Feel free to share this video if there's anyone that you think might be interested in it. Maybe you know some people that are kind of doing some node plays. Be like, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and send them this video to that guy so that it saves them some time in the research or whatever, right? Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next episode. God bless.